macrolides and clindamycin clindamycin is not a macrolide but both of them work in a same way inhibit protein synthesis in bacteria right so who are macrolides azithromycin clarithromycin and erythromycin a's i have kept them in an order of enzyme inhibition remember coke p e is erythromycin and it's the most potent enzyme inhibitor out of macrolide so clarithromycin and azithromycin are less potent enzyme inhibitor now erythromycin is a drug of choice for prophylaxis of diphtheria and whooping cough right how will you remember that whenever i say diphtheria you say erythromycin right diphtheria erythromycin diphtheria erythromycin erythromycin for prophylaxis of diphtheria i hope you'll never forget that in addition macrolides also activate motilin receptors so it will increase the bowel movement right so it's good for diabetic gastroparesis these people suffer from constipation because there is no movement in intestine so these drugs are good for diabetic gastroparesis so macrolides mm, constipation and mm, motilin receptors okay good for diabetic gastroparesis clindamycin is famous drug to cause pseudo membranous colitis right antibiotic associated diarrhea it kills all the normal flora and you'll have diarrhea so treatment of this is metronidazole and also macrolide in addition to anti inflammatory activity has immunomodulatory activity but not used for this purpose so drug of choice for prophylaxis of diphtheria erythromycin Erythromycin is given in decreased bowel motility because it binds to motilin receptor and clindamycin acts by inhibiting protein synthesis. And antibiotic associated colitis is due to clindamycin. And what's the treatment? What's the treatment? Metronidazole. 